This is my new Brown Series 9. You can see the model number right here. It is a 9370cc shaver. It says right here it's Brown's best shaver. Yada yada. We're going to put that to the test. 4 plus 1 Pro Head, which means it's got 4 shaving elements, 1 skin guard. Our best performance, efficient, close and gentle. 2 specialized trimmers. Uh, synchro sonic technology 40,000 cutting actions per minute wet or dry use now it comes with a cleaning and charging station uh, I'll do a separate little clip towards the end to show you how the charging station works and how to set that all up and that's with the charging too uh, I'll show you that uh, towards the end of the video it did come with a nice carry case uh, a little brush to clean it with go through some of the features real quick it's got a multi-head lock switch position position the shiver at right angle hard to reach areas under the nose slide the multi head lock switch three down to lock the shaver head so that's right here this thing pivots when you have the angle you want you just slide this down and it locks it in place so it doesn't move says it's got a precision trimmer here on the back for uh, beards and whatnot. Um, it says it's got a foil replacement indicator light uh, to main 100% shaving performance replace foil cutter cassette when the foil replacement indicator lights up and no status segments are visible. So that's pretty much this whole cassette here with the foil cutter on it. It pops right off. Uh, there's an indicator light that comes on here when it's ready to be replaced. I did scroll through the manual and find where it said that's about 18 months. Cleaning the shaver, it says uh, you can clean it under running water, especially important after foam or gel usage. Just uh, switch on the shaver and rinse the shaver head under hot running water until all the residues have been removed. Yada yada, it's common sense. Apparently you can clean it with this brush. Uh, it says switch off the shaver, remove the foil and cutter cassette, and tap it out. So you would just pop this out after you're done shaving, tap everything out, and then brush all the insides of these out with the uh, brush. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go on to the uh, live shaving and show you guys how good it works. And then I'll show you how to the use the uh, cleaning station and charging pretty much. So here goes. It's got a simple... Clear. I did already lock it into place. Um, I'll just walk you through. That's loose. You pop that up, push this button up, and this is loose. So you can kind of just feel on your face. I want it about right there, so push that button down to lock it. And that's how I'm going to shave, so here we go. And the manual did say to try to hold your skin tight. And let me double check that real quick. Okay, so the manual pretty much just said hold the razor like 90 degrees from your face. Try to keep your skin tight and shave against your grain. So here it goes. I have to say my skin feels fairly smooth already. I'm not a big fan of electric shavers, but uh, absolutely no pain or pulling of the hairs whatsoever. So it's definitely doing a great job.
Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but I really need to look in the mirror to make sure I'm covering every area. So, pretty much just showing you proof that I'm using the shaver. <clears throat> Now that I have to shave my neck, that's where this pivot comes in good. So I can lock that down. Um, I shaved half my face, so I think you can tell that uh, it's pretty smooth. I didn't feel any pain, so I mean, I'm not a big fan of the pivot head because it seems like it pops out too easy. But uh, I mean, it's as good as a shaver gets, so if you want to spend the money, it's definitely worth it. And uh, I'll jump online. First, I'll show you how the cleaning station works, and then I'll jump online and Show you what some other people say about the shaver online. Alright, I got my little trash can here. All you do is pop the head out when you're done shaving. And just kind of shake all this stuff out. That's what this little brush is for that comes with it. You can just brush all this stuff out real quick. Oops. Just as much as you can. And then after you get done... I'll show you the difference. You can see the buildup of here right there. Brush it all out. I mean, you can get it pretty sparkly clean before you even use the cleaning station, which I'm gonna show you right now. All right, I've got the cleaning station here. It's still plugged in. Um, there's supposed to be a way to pop this up. Oh, right here on the back there's a button to pop this up you are going to looks like let's see you're gonna to want to turn it this way with the caps up you're gonna pull this, this cap off a little bit of splash there once you get the cap off you just slide it in the bottom here oh, okay I guess looks like I'm just doing it Figuring it out on my own to show you how easy it is. I used to have the Series 7. So you're gonna, s oh my bad, let me turn this around. Slide it right in the back there. You can feel it go all the way in, kind of like a click. Push this all the way down. Turn it back around. I still have it plugged in. You're going to put your shaver back together after cleaning it. You can feel it go in and it clicks. You just wanna make sure you match these two metal connections up with these metal connections here on the charger I'm gonna plug that in uh, it beeped you listen for that beep and then this light even came on so you're going to hit this power button and it already started cleaning now the key here is once it starts cleaning you just leave it go through and let you know what it does real quick it so like completely rinses it out, sanitizes it, lubricates it, and then air dries it. So 
Let me see if I can find which particular order that goes in. I know I said in here it takes like three minutes. It does say do not refill the cartridge and use only original brown refill cartridges. Okay, here it is. Automatic cleaning. Uh, it says depending on your model, the cleaning time takes up to three minutes. After cleaning, drying, and charging is completed, all indicator lights turn off. So I didn't really find where it says in what order it sanitizes it and lubricates it or whatnot. So I'll just go ahead and leave it film. Filming. Uh, it's up to you if you want to watch the rest of it, and then. The shaver should shut off on its own when it's done. It does have a little water drip indicator light on it showing that it's cleaning. So that is one of the biggest features of this uh, these bronze series shavers. Um, hate to be a, I hate to uh, break the party up, but you could probably if you can get a cheaper version of the seven or eight or whatever that come with the cleaning station, uh, they perform form just as good, but. Uh, I mean, this one just does barely have an edge with more features or, and stuff like that. They're always trying to improve on their product. So if you want the latest, greatest shaver, this one is definitely the best. I mean, uh, one problem with foil razors is uh, they can cause ingrown hairs a lot easier than the rotary shaver. So this cleaning and sanitizing uh, should definitely help with that. So it's definitely a huge feature to have. So. I do definitely recommend if you're willing to spend the money and you want to get the best sh shaver you can, you definitely want to get one of these Braun Series 9. So I'll go ahead and leave the shaver on. If you don't want to watch the rest of it, you can skip to the next clip where I'll jump online and see what people say.
Yeah, it's taking a shower. I don't know if you're still watching or not, but you can see that you can hear that it's actually air drying it right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off so I can finish, but whenever it's done, the indicator light here will go off. So. Okay, so I don't have a new microphone for my computer yet, so I'm just going to show you online. There's the model. You go down here to... Uh, I like to go to Amazon.com, even if I didn't, didn't buy the product there, and just look at the reviews. Here you go, up at the top, you just click on the reviews, go down, see customer reviews. And then once you get on that, you go to top reviews there, and you click on, I like to click on most recent. Then once you click on most recent, it kind of obviously gives the newest ones. So, um, obviously there's five stars right away. Uh, this one says it worked way better than the Series 7. Shaved a four day old beard. Uh, that's a good one. Razor gives you even a tough beard like mine, a smooth shave effortlessly. I do want to say I did only shave half my face. I ran in the bathroom and shaved with 
another electric shaver I had and I feel absolutely nothing on the side of my face that I shaved with this bronze series 9 and the other half of my face is uh, burning a little bit this is why I like to look at the reviews this one actually says astonishing poor for for performance oh it says solely based on the shaving performance and none of the other features all of which I gave five stars battery life everything yada yada working either wet or dry I started out dry um, I don't know I think that guy's full of baloney he probably doesn't know how to shave right you have to pull your face skin tight like it says in the manual and shave against the grain so um I just I don't see nothing but five stars popping up I couldn't find anything wrong with it when I shaved so I mean you can really go through these reviews and um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it it's like 4.4 almost four and a half stars out of over 12,000 reviews can't beat it this is definitely the best shaver so far that I've ever used